All right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the April 17th, 2023 Board of Condemnation and Blight meeting. In attendance is Sands Cleary, Pat Mahoney, and myself, along with Recording Secretary Andrea Flynn. The time is now 2 p.m. Call to order, uh, approval for minutes from the March 20th, 2023 meeting. I'll make a motion to approve. Sands, Second. seconded by Pat. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, I'll make a motion to, to suspend yeah. the order of business to address those present today. I'll make a second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 We'll start with uh, number four, just working our way down. Number four, 20 Morehouse Highway. Uh, I went by there today. I still see that there is uh, some debris in the yard to the left, yep. along with uh, the front of the house still being incomplete. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I must have the wrong... I'm looking at Monday, April 17th, and you're saying number four? Number four is condemn condemnation. Uh, no, sir. Number under. four under blight ordinance, this is actually for you to discuss the property on Morehouse. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm sorry. Number four, my bad. Number four under blighted, blight ordinance. Number four uh, under so, number six. Yes, number four under number six, 20 Morehouse. Again, I, I believe they're almost... I think there is forward yep. progress. However, uh, they still are not complete. And it continues to be fined. So. Continues to be fined. Citations uh, build every day. Anything else in number 20? All uh, right. Moving to number five under number six, Blight Ordinance. This is 83 Morehouse Highway. Um, I, did I, meet, yeah. I did meet with the owner today at the property. Uh, she meeting with the... Um, Roofing contractor at 1 p.m. today, um, who will be um, obtaining a permit to do the work and begin the repairs. Yeah, pretty much identical. It's now going to be uh, occupied as well. Um, they were meeting with the roofer at 1. We'll be fixing everything, as well as the trees. Yep. Yeah. So, anything else on number 83 Morehouse? Uh, can I comment on that? Absolutely. Well, I did see somebody come over, but and you mentioned the, the trees. Yes, I did a, a discuss with uh, the owner, uh, Ms. Demusio, um, that the uh, the front tree has some large dead branches that would be a uh, unfit structures issue, uh, and suggested, uh, not required, but suggested that she address those issues um, um, before it became an unfit. Yeah, before we received a complaint regarding it, but just that it's, I noticed it was some large dead branches that are uh, greater than 12 feet, and so we asked them, asked her to take those down, and she indicated that she was more than willing to do that. Well, actually, that was on my original um, complaint that I filed um, back in November about that tree is 90% dead. <clears throat> that was five items that were on my original complaint of 11-14. Uh, 22, 2022. Okay. okay. Well, it'll now be getting taken Sorry, care of. Misunderstanding. Anything else in regards to that? Hearing no, none. Okay. Um, now we'll be addressing number seven under number six blight ordinance and two 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 Stilson Road. Um, can I? I'm. I, I'm. And I'll, I'll get off your back once we're done. Can Can I make a comment on the communications? Sure. Uh, I just wanted to state that um, in, in, on the 11, 19, 18 minutes, stands clearly reported that the town clerk stated minutes must be made available to the public within seven days. Seven days. So the that was, I think prior to the recording, because the recordings go up within 48 hours. Yeah. So there's a there's a a full recording of the message of the meeting that goes up within 48 hours. Um, the uh, meeting uh, minute notes are available um, at any time. Um, and then we, you know, the draft of the minutes is prepared and then is approved at the meeting typically the next following month. 
All right, thank you. You're quite welcome. Oh, and, and I think the fire marshal was there uh, at 83 Morehouse Highway as well. Yes, sir. Yes, I was. There, there was there were two town cars there, or two town of Fairfield cars this morning. One spent a lot of time there. So she's moving on things? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, moving on to 222 Stilson Road. Um, so I'll make a motion uh, that the property meets the criteria for blight, um, and we should uh, take that motion, be, they take that matter before the board. I second the motion. Now there be discussion. discussion. Okay, so discussion on the motion. Is the owner present? Yes. Okay. Would the owner like to, uh, I mean, I'll do a quick summary, like there's holes in the roof, the roof is sagging, there's windows that are partially open, still screen, but there's some other windows that are missing and some boarded up things there's there. No, there's no, uh, I, believe there is, missing. I believe there's one in the front that's missing. Um, but again, I could, I, okay. I'm pretty sure I'll I took pictures of everything, yeah. but it, you know, it, that's, I think it meets the criteria for blights, particularly the hole in the roof and the sagging roof uh, meets the criteria. Um, and so I'll leave it at that. And then if you have any comments in terms of your uh, plan to address that. We are going to address it, um, especially now. The, um, as far as the roof is concerned, if I need to pull a permit, I'll pull a permit. Yes, you and will. And I'll take care of that roof issue. That can all be done online as well. So. Yeah, yeah, actually, I was on there and it asked for other criteria to submit. Mm -hmm. Here's what you need to do. If you have any issues at all with that, you have an issue, come up. Uh, come even up. any morning, 8.30 to 10.30, and myself or one of my guys or one of the ladies will be glad that we have uh, my computers right there. Just bring your information. We'll help okay. you load it and get you going. Absolutely. If you need some help, that's no problem at all. all right. And we'll probably pull in that um, probably tomorrow. Sure. Yep. Okay. And are there any uh, future plans for yes. the property uh, that, that the board should be made aware of? The property as it stands is not in the highest and best use, okay, and we do plan on developing the property up. Um, some years ago, we did go in front of conservation and uh, um, zoning, and we, we received approvals for two houses there, okay. Uh, we are now revisiting that plan. Uh, the house will get torn down at some point. So no question about it. It's not as, uh, it's not as highest and best. of the existing property are you uh, are you planning to move well, forward with that prior to the other issue we're, we're planning on uh, moving forward with that we have to first get our zoning approval uh, before we do that but the property does sit um it's grandfathered in there okay yep. it sits within setbacks so we don't want to give up something that we don't have to give up at the moment we can just rebuild the house if we get turned down and everything that's okay right. so we're going to it, we'll, we'll maintain the house to your criteria, okay, okay? and to neighbors also, okay, and if you Thank want, you. You, I'll give you our contact information, so Super. You, please, give us a call. Anybody? Great, I would love to, yeah. right. we'd like to open a, a dialogue, Absolutely. we just didn't know anything about who owned it or Not whatever. Right. After the meeting, we'll get together. Super. Thank okay. you. And um, the, what was I going to say, was, uh, oh, regarding the demolition, now, I think the town has a um, regulation where if it's a... If How it's old is the property? Is it over 100 years old? Yes, so it would be a 60-day wait. Okay. It's Once wait the paperwork is upon done. the uh, submission of the demo How permit? Our, how our or? demo code works is once I receive 100% of all your documents, mm -hmm. disconnect letters, uh, asbestos, all that stuff, help, anything. Once I receive all that, then the clock starts 60 days. What I do, get all the paperwork, we enter it, you go put a date, this, uh, this property is posted for demolition no later than, and that's how it works. Okay. Mm -hmm. As far as utilities concerned, just for safety purposes, 
the only thing that we have that's connected now is electricity in there. We have so that. No gas? The gas is off, water's off, everything okay. is disconnected except electricity. We maintain the electricity for, for security purposes. Mm -hmm. We have cameras uh, on premises because from time to time we get kids coming in there wanting to break in, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. immediately call the police and things to handle. We haven't had any issues in several years now. And I would just add that if we don't have it, if you could provide your any additional contact information, they'll oh, sure. email or phone number Absolutely. to Andrea after the meeting. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. okay. If I may, when's the last time you've been in the house? Um, probably like a month ago. Okay. Uh, oh, all right. Any structural instability now? Well, just with the hole in the roof, I'm kind of curious about the second floor. Okay. They don't build houses now like they did back then. That's true. <laughs> it's a little chestnut. Yeah. So. Okay, so the motion is still on the floor unless there's any further discussion. No, um, okay, so we'll move on the motion. All those in, fi uh, in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So that, that means we've, we've essentially confirmed that it does meet the criteria for blight. We're going to be sending you a letter that says, here's the things you need to fix. You have 30 days to fix those, gotcha. and that's the, we'll start the process. Good. So. All right, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, anyone else here for a different property? Wakeman Road. Wakeman Road. Okay. Very good. Um, so, Wakeman is okay. new to us. Yes. Uh, it is new. Um, and it just made it, uh, we got a complaint. <laughs> uh, this, this, between the last meeting and this meeting. Yeah, right. Just calling it. It's a number box. I, I know an inspector from our office, Mr. Oldham, I believe, came out and, and, and worked to resolve, uh, work with the owner to resolve the issue of the rats and try to clean up the property. Um, and so has something changed since then in terms of, I, I, I did read. So far the rats haven't returned. That's in, great. In my house. I spent over $1,000 of my own money for, um, to have them removed or eradicated. Um, there was a slight improvement at the property at that time. They called it arborage for the rats. Yep. I actually had them under my, I have a tool shed in the back. They were under this pet, burrowed into the tool shed, burrowed into my like stone walls of my property. They were in the stone walls. Um, I haven't seen them yet this spring. Um, they still have the chickens. I don't know the chickens, but I think we always thought this. We never had them before. They had chickens. They were in the chickens, and now the rats have appeared. But the property, until uh, Wednesday or Thursday of last week, there was I thought maybe you would contact them. There was a flurry of activity out there. But basically, it's strewn with garbage. Uh, there were old um, uh, gardens that they had installed that they never seemed to uh, harvest anything from. And there were stakes and rags from the, on the stakes and things that looked like they were trying to tie up vegetables, and, uh, lawn furniture. Just it would blow away and they'd leave it there. Garbage cans in the front of the property that periodically they're empty, but then the garbage cans are they catch the wind and they're strewn around the property. Overgrown shrubbery. Uh, the other day I saw them, I thought there was only one or two shutters on the side of the house that were stacked up there for some reason. They were getting shutters from the, from the other side of the house. I think they put them in the, in the garage that they have there, but I mean. Something went on last week that they started to clean up the property, but it's still, at one point they had about a 20, 20 by 20 tarp. They laid it all out. The wind came and picked it up, and it's still lying around there. I mean, it's just, it's, it's ongoing. They seem like they start a project and, and then lose interest. Lawnmowers, uh, uh, trailer for the lawnmower, all this stuff. And then the other thing is, and I don't know what the ordinance is regarding that, but there are as many as six cars. They're registered but six cars that are just parked randomly on the front of the house. And they also, if somebody goes out there, I just didn't know about this, but they have that massive tree there, which if you look at the top of it, there's at least 12 feet of dead branches. Um, it, it's a, it's, it's a, the whole property is just, it's just a mess. They seem to have no regard uh, or respect for the neighbors. Frankly, I think uh, we've had real estate people come over and they haven't said it to us, but when they talk to us, it's one price. When they come out and see the yard, 
because you're looking right from my kitchen window and my deck into this property. And it's got to be affecting the value of my property, which is a major concern to me. Sure. Okay. Well, it's, it's, it's for the first time it's appearing on our agenda okay. this month, yep. which means you know, we'll consider having a hearing next month, at next okay. month's meeting. Uh, so we'll, we, all three of us need to take a look at it so we can all make an assessment of does it meet the criteria for blight. Okay. Multiple cars does not meet the criteria no, for blight, you know, if they're, if they're registered and operable and, you know, that, that you can have, you know, unless it falls into the junkyard category, which zoning enforces. But, mm -hmm. but if they're operable and they're registered, then that's not, a, not an issue. And, 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 and several of those issues that you mentioned, don't quite rise to the level of light, but what we can do is all three of us have to go out there and then have then and and determine whether it meets the criteria for blight, and then we would notify them to have a hearing like we just did for 222. So still. And, and again, I got the impression from the person who came out last year that he was a great guy, and but I got I got the impression that some some of the stuff that they created with this un, untipped shrubs and this garbage from the from the uh, garden is kind of creating another. Yeah, and we can. I can have Mr. Oldham go back out and revisit the property, and take care of those issues that that may still fall under not quite meet blight, but but not that we can't do anything to ask them. At least we can ask them to clean things up, you know, and determine what's going on there. But because we don't want that issue to come back, because that was a was a long time to resolve that sure. issue. Okay. Thank you so much. Good. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, going back to our regular agenda, uh, number three, communications, number 149, Orchard Hill Lane. Um, I understand that you've had a couple emails or correspondence in regards to a, a boat in the driveway. Oh, yeah. So that one, uh, Matt Decker, you know, since, since that uh, falls within, it's a single issue, falls within zoning's cat, uh, criteria in terms of determining what are the setbacks allowed for a boat to be stored. It's not the most attractive boat, but I don't think it rises to the level of blight in the sense that people are allowed to store boats on their property. It just has to be stored in accordance with zoning regulations. And I met with the owner, the occupant, um, and he actually mentioned that the boat is registered too. He just doesn't have the stickers on it, and that uh, it goes back a couple of years, and it's a family heirloom, and he's trying to fix it up, and he said because of time commitments, he as of yet has not been able to, yep. and he's now possibly trying to just get rid of it. So um, he's aware of it. He'll do everything he can to uh, start yeah. probably the process. And Mr. Decker indicated that he would be communicating yeah. the same thing, to, that it has to be stored in accordance with the setback requirements. Okay, uh, number four, condemna condemnation, old business. 92 Grassmere Ave. Um, yep, it, it, nothing's changed there. I did have a conversation with a prospective buyer uh, of the property who's still very interested, trying to work with the owner and his attorney, but they haven't moved forward. I did um, communicate with the owner, trying to, uh, but he has not communicated back in terms of his uh, moving forward with with the property. Although he did mention, well, I'll, I'll save that for another the other property that he has on the agenda. Okay. Um, I, I also have reached out to the uh, town attorney in regards to this particular property because I actually think it has gotten worse. Yes. Um, there's no more signage in the back. Um, the stairs are are completely uh, gone, along with the second floor porch and door area, which is actually uh, about to collapse as well. So. The entire back of the property is wide open. The hole, in my opinion, has gotten bigger in the roof. So um, I'd like to at least wait to hear what the town attorney comes back to us with. Yep, and it is being fined. Yes. Um, number five, uh, new business? No new business, correct? No new condemnation business. Okay. Uh, number six, Blight Ordinance Old Business, 400 Bronson Road. Anyone here today from 400 Bronson Road? Yeah. Negative. Okay. So um, I'll make a motion that it meets the criteria for blight, and ask the uh, you know that we send a letter of determination to the owner uh, indicating the uh, damaged structure and the uh, unregistered vehicle on the property. A second. Okay. Um, discussion. Uh, I have had uh, brief communication with zoning who has mentioned that they were actually going to look at the uh, the machine as well. 
but I absolutely agree with uh, the structure on the property as it's missing in its entire left side. And we're yeah, <laughs> I did go by there and with the skid steer, the hole in the roof. I mean, the pile of logs. I don't know that that meets us, but the, the hole in the roof definitely yeah. uh, for the structure. The roofs and the inoperative vehicles. Yeah, I think I think that's needed. about. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, uh, Blight, we just, uh, 92 grass bear we just talked about. Keep it on, continue getting fined. Number 333, Grassmere <coughs> Avenue, the former Handy and Harmon property. I'll make a motion that it meets the criteria for Blight, given the litter and debris around the property and the graffiti that's on the signs and the structure, and make a recommendation that we send a notice of determination to the owner to uh, address those issues. I will second. Okay. And to ensure that they're the buildings are secure. All right. Um, discussion purposes, I had uh, communication with property management in regards to this, and they told me uh, approximately one week ago that it will be taken care of within the next two weeks. Okay. So uh, hopefully we don't have to uh, keep this on too long, but those all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, this one's going to be you, Pat. 40 Gould yeah, Avenue. Yeah, this is another one. It is in progress. Uh, I've been getting multiple calls from neighbors, uh, and we are going through the permitting process. It's uh, architects, engineers, zoning, you know, all these departments are, they had a cost there. They did clean up all the debris. Uh, it's not, the tidal water, there's not a lot you can do about it. The water comes in, the water goes out. Neighbors don't, you know, but we did clean it up. Uh, I spoke to the owner several times and they want to go ahead they're going to put two a duplex up there i believe okay. so it is in progress it's uh and is is it um has the owner submitted the, the, I, I spoke to the owner because yeah from other properties he, uh, right, from, yeah. right another yeah, property and he indicated that that it's it's the he's waiting on the town at this point that everything's been submitted and he's waiting on the town i'm sort of it, wanted to ascertain it's that still, in review. still in review uh it hasn't been approved by departments they had issues with okay. their uh Engineering. Okay. The first ones they put in were wrong, and uh, I will follow up again to okay. see which, where in the lineup it lands, because I've been pushing. I don't know. Yeah. Let's get it started. And I'll add that we had an inspector go out and treat the stagnant water for uh, mosquitoes. Oh, we did. Okay. So I, put, I did have a neighbor. Mosquito dunks in there, so okay. and he spoke with the neighbor. Okay, good. Yeah. Such that. Uh, awesome. So, so we won't breed any mosquitoes while we're waiting for that to be. Yeah, approved. but it isn't, and I am. I am on. I speak with the owner regularly. He has multiple other properties. He's starting now, so. Okay, so in regards to this item, um, shall we just I think we keep, keep it on? Keep it on. And Continue on. Yeah, I think it's, we it's keep it on. Based on the permitting. waiting on us. Yep. All right. Uh, 20 more house we already discussed. 83 more house we already discussed. Followed by 750, 750 Post yeah. Road. I did speak with the architect. The, bit, the contractor was oh. chosen. They are in there. They started. Uh, it's going to be a restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, so they're in there working already? They're in there. They have permits. Mm -hmm. They're okay. started. Um, I told them about the garbage, and they said, we're gonna, you know, we're going to move ahead. So okay. They, yeah, there was there was two vehicles there. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're, they're getting. So. He said you'll see a lot of action in the next two weeks. They're getting ramped okay. up now. Good. They picked finally picked the contractor, sent us his insurance, his license, so we have everybody. Okay. So it is. So we want to keep it on. Yeah, I think keep it on another month and just see activity. the progress. But okay. they are in progress. Okay, we already talked about 222 Stilson, number 280 Tuckahoe Lane. Yeah, um, I did, you know, speak to the owner there, and he just he did indi indicated that he is um, uh, he's aware of the issues that the the new issues that have come up with the the hole in the roof, um, and that he will work to try and address that. He's working with a prospective buyer who is a contractor that um, hopefully will take care of that for him. And he indicated, but he didn't start it, that he'd be start work on hauling out the um, cinder blocks that are in the backyard. That's the, one of the issues. Of mm -hmm. uh, it's already being cited, so we'll just leave that on. Yeah, leave it. Yeah. Um, 146 Wheeler Park. No change there is no my last change. inspection, and it's being fined right now. No change. All right, moving on to blight ordinance, new business or new complaints. Um, uh, I'll make a motion to correct uh, the first item under 727 Rockridge, uh, to correct that to 57 Rockridge, which I think is the correct address. The, the complaint 
has 57 looks like a 2, I get it. <laughs> or it's actually uh, switched around. But I think it's 57 Rock Ridge. Uh, I took some pictures. I sent it to you guys as a link. I think it meets the criteria for blight. Um, um, and that we should move ahead. Although, I'll make sure that this is the one. Um, that the complaint came in on an unfit structures form. And I think uh, I would make a recommendation that we uh, reach out to the uh, complainant to, to see if they're willing to switch that to a blank complaint. Because I don't think it meets the criteria for unfit structures, but I just think it definitely meets the criteria for blight, being that there's like there's some stuff, six cars out there, and three boats, and a trailer, uh, a camper. Um, and lots of debris in the backyard. A lot of grills, a backhoe. Yeah, backhoe. Yeah. So I think I think it meets the criteria. I think we should have a hearing uh, next month um, for for it. Uh, but we would have to have reach out to the owner to get them to fill out a blight complaint as opposed to an unfit structures complaint. Okay. Okay. I can email them. Okay. So we'll just add that. Yeah. In anticipation, I would expect. Um, number 60, Steep Hill Road. Um, I, I went there today. Um, it definitely, in my opinion, has debris, collectibles, if you will, garbage, all in the front of the house. Um, not only next to the structure, but once again at the curb. I mean, this, this is a property that we've already had on the agenda going uh, a year or two back. Um, there's an unregistered car on the street, so I don't know if that would be their property because they, they actually, it's not their concern because the property doesn't belong to them. They mentioned that it's someone else's property, and they basically told us, do what you have to do. Um, yeah. That's not mine. Get rid of it. Go ahead. So I, I believe that would probably be more of a police matter. However, all the material near it and on the yard should be uh, should be removed. So I asked um, if they can please provide immediate uh, um, action on this for the next 30 days. So, yeah, and I'd recommend that we, you know, schedule a hearing uh, just to, to move the process forward to keep uh, to motivate them to take mm -hmm. action. Oh, I agree. Of, yeah, yeah, I, I agree. absolutely agree. So. I think it meets the criteria, just the unregistered vehicles, the inoperative vehicles. Mm -hmm. All right. So if we can uh, send that, that would be great. Uh, number 346, Wakeman Road, we already discussed. Any other business before us today? I have none. I have none. Anyone from the uh, public? Thank you. Anyone right. else from the public on the line? Hearing none. The time is now 2.28 p.m. This meeting is adjourned.